Well, because this will come as come a shock to some people because, you know, there's no conception broadly in the community that there is good, bad or clean and dirty uh electricity in that sense so the i and you you take let's go back so you've already said about the pulsing effect so electricity pushed out on the ac system the 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 alternating current system comes in pulses 50 times a second or that or thereabouts direct current is it's always there so battery maybe direct current a wind turbine solar panel direct current so at some point you've got to create turn that direct current into uh, alternating current through an inverter you know many people be familiar with inverters i mean i've got one in my car for instance that can turn a battery into uh, 240 volts so i can do some modest things like boil, boil a small kettle we all know about those but you have to do it in sync right and that is the challenge is it not to yeah. get yeah. to make sure that the directed current is not only converted to 50 hertz but that that wave cycle is exactly in sync how, how precisely does it have to be in sync it, it has to be uh, precise to thousandths of a second so if you take a second and divide it up into a thousand pieces you would want that sine wave to be clean in exactly the right place right across uh that thousandth of a second so so basically the and this is what people i think really struggle to understand the electricity system is not just a 50 hertz system it's a clean beautifully clean 50 hertz system because all of the current sort of coal plants and gas plants are synchronized right across the grid because the grid itself is its own fastest computer it synchronizes itself so all of these machines line up and all of the spinning machines spin at 1500 rpm now, if you divide 60 into that, you get 50 hertz, right? So it's 60 times 50, 1500. That is that is 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 how we get uh, uh, get get the um, the 50 hertz signal. That signal uh, and that waveform, we use alternating current because it's very easy to move around the place. You can put it into somebody's backyard. You can put it into somebody's factory. You can put it into uh, a motor that is out um, uh, in in an industrial environment. And so it's really important to recognize that 50 hertz is not just electrons, but it's the signal that keeps everything going in the 50 hertz world. Now, when we start to mess around with that and use direct current, um, that is that it's, it's got a voltage, but it doesn't have any waveform on it. When you have lots and lots of, of little wind farms and lots and lots of, of uh, solar panels, they all have to synchronize into that grid when they arrive at the fence of the solar farm or at the fence of the wind turbine uh, farm they have to join in the right way now you've just talked about the fact that you've got a little inverter in your car you can have one in your house if you've got panels on your roof that's great if you don't need a high quality of power Uh, you can get away with it but when you've got those scattered all over the place and you're trying to join them up and you have replaced all of those big um, coal plants and you've replaced all of the uh, uh, the gas plants and so on, and, and what you're left with is only intermittent renewables. The question then becomes, how do you form the signal, uh, you know, from South Australia to the top of Queensland that is synchronised right across Australia to a microsecond all the time? And that problem is definitely not solved. And so there is a a maximum limit to the amount of that intermittency that you can have on the grid that uh, doesn't distort the underlying signal and compromise your ability to to, to use the 50 hertz in your economy. And my feeling is is that amount um, sort of starts becoming important at about 20% renewables. We've already got more than that in South Australia. And it saturates at about 40%, which is about the maximum amount you can get out of a wind turbine in a normal day. The wind blows only about 40% of the time. And once you're above that so-called saturation point, uh, any extra renewables just disrupt the quality of your, your electricity supply because they are intermittent. You can't rely on them. And certainly in the middle of the night, you can't, you can't rely on solar panels. And if the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining, and these are your two primary sources of electrons, you've got a fundamental problem. And the fundamental problem is you can't have a 50 hertz grid under those conditions. 